Despite huge anticipation, Deathly Hallows Part 1 managed to exceed many people's expectations, becoming one of the 10 most successful films of all time and taking close to a billion dollars at the box office. I was thrilled with the response, you know, it's, um, I feel like it was a real step up from, from the other films. I mean, obviously I'm incredibly proud of them too, but I think in terms of the performances we gave and, um, and just, you know, what we were able to achieve, um, I was really, really proud of it. Now it's almost time for the final movie, Deathly Hallows Part 2. It looks incredible. I mean, obviously, I'm I'm always biased, but um, it just looks it looks amazing. The the ending just looks epic. Looks really really great. So I'm very excited. What was the last there filming like? And uh, did you have hair issues? I read somewhere. We did some reshoots just before Christmas, and obviously, I had cut all my hair off because we had officially had the last day. Uh, so uh, I did have to wear a wig for that, but. Um, You'd never know. It's kind of, I, I will be amazed if anyone can tell where that scene slots in. The film stars are now embarking on other projects. Daniel Radcliffe is currently performing on Broadway. Emma's working on other movies. It's exciting to start branching out, obviously, you know, having done just Potter for, for 10 years. Um, I'm making a film in May, um, which I'm really excited about, um, which is set in Pittsburgh, uh, Pennsylvania in America. So. We're doing an American accent, which is, uh, which is a challenge, um, but it's nice to do something different. She's also enjoyed modelling and working in the fashion industry. I think I was 11, 12 years old when I first, when I, you know, first went on my first red carpet and, and, you know, I've just kind of had to, you know, dressing and, and, and fashion kind of just became part of my life and part of my world and, and, and what I was, what I was doing, so it was just something that I started really loving. Just one of the opportunities that have sprung up thanks to the film series that's dominated her life. I don't have that many memories when I wasn't making Harry Potter films. Like I was nine years old, you know, I was I was still a child. Um, so it's it's made up the formative part of my life. And for fans of the films and its stars. The release of the final movie is sure to mark the end of an era. Lizo Mazimba, BBC News.